channel. Fantastic day outside, really hot. Um, but we put the door down because it stops all that blazing heat from coming in, so it just keeps us a bit cooler. A bit of like, airflow underneath. So, anyway, um, let's cut to the chase, go straight to the car. Look, there we are. So, so ST Edition Fiesta, new customer, great. We've said this before, um, especially quite humbling when they travel from afar, which is also, you know, just, um, you know, adds to the excitement, really. So, it's on the ramp ready. He's already had a, a stock car, this one. He's not done anything to it apart from cosmetically. So he's put the um, Maxton front splitter on, the Maxton side skirts. And you can see all these edition ones, they always come with a gloss black rear diffuser from factory, a bit different with the, you know, and then they got the gloss black rear spoiler and then they got the gloss black rear, so, you know, gloss black wheels. So putting on the extra bits cosmetically just finishes it off, I think. So we've done a few of these now. Not on an edition car, so this is why it's quite cool to do it on, on edition one. Um, so there it is. A little bit different. The only difference between the post-20 cars is the rear motor controller for the flap, all right? It's just, that's, that comes with that. Whereas like on the, um, on, the uh, on the pre ones, it doesn't, it's different. It doesn't come with that. You just fit the existing one to me in it. Just yes, yeah. Up. Yeah, because that now switches from a single, single to two. the yeah. three-hole one, doesn't it? Hence why you need that. Um, we're going to go for the Seraco black tips. Why well, wouldn't it? Because it's it's got this black and blue thing going on in it. All the bits and pieces you've seen this before, viewers. Um, and then all the clamps, etc. Timmy's done a few of these now, so it's quite straightforward for him now. Um, down there, look, we put it down on the floor. Obviously, first and foremost, there's no room, and then it's a bit hot out, so we can't even try to keep everything cool in here. So there's the red fuse. He's gone for gloss black. Obviously, he's going to go for gloss black because of the theme he's got. Although he's got carbon fiber, um, rubber plates around. Um, yeah, so there it is. Um, this one was really popular. The first one we done was really popular. The second one that we done on Scott's, which was a, an upgrade because we really had the Miltec exhaust. That's um, uh, that's quite popular. Looks as uh, it was getting some quite good views. So this one, because it's an addition car, I think people will be really interested in this one. Um, it's just amazing, isn't it? What an addition car and the color changes things. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the color is great. You know, azure blue is a bit like grammar blue. Um, Great colour, you know, it's all forward is related to the blue colour anyway, isn't it? So I do like this one. Um but um yeah, so we'll we'll crack on. We'll just go through, take some pictures to me, we'll do another video, we'll catch up as we're going along when you do the law will be down in the sector. because um, it's quite you can't really do this. You try and do this yourself with that rear diffuser, you're you're brave, isn't you, Timmy? Taking a risk, yeah. You're taking a risk. You like I said before, you can't just go like that, yeah, that do. You know, you have to mark it all up. Um you know, look. Uh, however, if somebody wants to do it, Max, then the way they do it is they take the rear bumper off and do it. We don't do that, we do it in place. I mean, it's just you don't want to make more work for yourselves than, than you need to. So, if you can do it with a bumper in place, um, you know, when you fit the diffuser, you need to be when you press that, you need to have you know, Laura's obviously got smaller hands, you can get her hand up behind and then press against each other. So, you're pressing, Timmy's pressing forward, she's pressing against it, and that's how you get your bond in, work it all the way along, all right? But you need small hands to get up there. Um, yeah, it just right, it's the same thing. And you start taking bumpers off, and then not so much on this because it's new. Clips break or something come apart, and all that. but if you can do it in place, then do it in place. It just um, that's the way we do it anyway. So, but yeah, we'll crack on to me. Um, let you, uh, you and Laura crack on with it. I've got other things to do, and then we'll come and do some, you know, some more, uh, you know, videoing as we go. So, see you soon. All right, guys, girls, just on the underside of the. Uh, Mark 8 ST edition. Um, as you can see, so it's got the stock exhaust on it at the moment, you know, the cat GPF. So we'll be cutting it um, around about here to mean it. Yep. Um, and then, as you can see, that's so just showing you that it's got the stock exhaust on it. As you'll see, that is a single, it's a single bolt on that. Yeah, single bolt on that. So that's why you, uh, with the upgrade, you need the three bolt controller. Um, and you, do like that. they switched it didn't they on the later models obviously you can see that's got the full performance coilovers pretty cool isn't it yep um yeah so um that's from factory which is really good so bottom of you don't have to worry about um buying coilovers right here and they're good quality um I don't know, made by kw something like that i think but yeah so time to get the saw out and start chopping 
and then uh, get the rear diffuser off this nice rear diffuser. I saw you did that, you probably, you probably sell that to, maybe we keep it, but you know, that's one you could uh, certainly sell on to somebody and put it on their standard one, wouldn't they? Yep. But, uh, yeah. Further ado, let's crack on. Right, guys and girls, under the Fiesta Edition, as you can see, now we've sort of like plumbed three quarters of it into me, we? Yep. So as you see there, so that was where it was cut, so there's your joiner there. Um, through the tunnel up, around, and then rear center is joined. We've sort of like manipulated the heat shield, that's all out of the way. Because obviously, don't forget, this comes with a smaller bore, but it's not designed for the, the bigger bore with a heat shield in mind. So, um, you just gotta like re adjust it and manipulate it so it's all clear. Um, so that's all good. Um, as you can see, there's a bit up here where it will be, but again, see, so you just gotta put the weight. Um, so and like I said before, when you lower it down, it'll be different on this ramp than what it will be on the four poster. So what we normally do is, after you've uh, we've done this, put it onto the four poster ramp, and then we can make sure that it's clear everywhere and any sort of adjustments we need to do, we can do it then. So it's not fully done yet, as you see, so what Timmy's done is just mocking it up now, just temporarily putting the tips on so we can get an idea of where it's going to sit. Um, you know, your, your crossover pipe there, which goes from, we'll see off side to near side, feeds that across to that. That's all done, the valve has all been swapped over. That's all done, all connected up. So it's just a case of now with the fuser, sort of like, not put it on properly, but just like offer it up, take it in position to see where uh, um, we're in the right place. And then we can like mark it all up and stick it on. But that's it, yeah. So we'll, uh, that's the progress. And then we'll come back and finish up when the, once the diffuser's on. And then we got to start up later on. So, all right, see you in a bit. All right, cars and girls. Uh, one but last year. Yep. That's sort of thing, say. Eh? I don't know. Anyway, it's one more to go after this. Oh, so you can see that. So, rear silencer, which was on before, we showed that to you. Now we put the link across. That's all done. We showed that to you, which is unfinished. Now the tailpipes are on. The fuser is on, that, as you can see. So, Laura and Timmy have uh, done that. Quite ridiculous. You know, lining it all up, etc. Um, and it is how it is. It's got all the support brackets up, up underneath and the little plastic ones here. So it's a good fit. It comes with a 3M tape on it, which is like super strong. Um, so you've got to clean it all off first. But on the addition, I mean, let's hang on, we'll let, we'll see, we'll let it down in a second and then show you then. But it looks really cool. What a way it matches, the runs up, that matches the stock rear spoiler, which is gloss black anyway. And um, yeah, a, a, just a great addition, I think. Um, so we're gonna let Ben fire it up now. This car stock, it's got no software on it. I mean, we've um, been talking to the customer about that. So stage one, and that's what I would do on first sample of stage one Regal, obviously. Um, and then if he feels that that is, um, you know, if he likes that, then maybe think about a stage two performance pack afterwards. But yeah, that's all to come. But let's get him down and get him fired up to me, innit? Yep. And then um, we'll do a finish up. See you in a sec. Yeah. There we go, guys and girls. That's the uh, switch it again. Huh? Yeah. Go back to normal. Yeah. Back to sport, which is the same as track. Same. Valve open. Shop. All right, so it's there running. We're just letting everything just um, you know come on, just do a heat cycle on the 
exhaust in the back, etc. Before we start on the front, before we park, park it like makes it our WRC transit, um, which you want to know about. Right, so I do like that spare. To me, that's the uh, it's like a bit of a extended one, isn't it? Like yeah. It comes out a bit more. It's quite nice. It's quite aggressive. You can get ones which are a bit further in. Um, you know, but you know, um, I do like it. It's snow flurry, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Like that. Real race car stuff, you know. Um, so that's the, yeah, ideal for a little wander around that. All the boats in it. All the boss black, boss black wheels. That's what we're covering. And you've got the roof lot. The side skirts. Really good. It complements everything really well, doesn't it? You know, privacy glass. Uh, lovely inside. Obviously, the addition was you've got the sport button on the steering wheel, which you've got mess around pretty finger down there. You just bang it button. Uh, as we were doing, we were showing you the um, the noise difference. Um, yeah, wandering around to the to the rear look to me, which is where it's all going to start happening. Carries on with the, the gloss battle onto the spoiler, and then obviously it's got the Maxton lip spoiler on there, which is ideal. Um, wandering around look to me. Then we've got the carbon number plates around, which is great. And then we've got the we come to the what we've done there today, which is the um, the Maxton. Stroke Miltec um, collaboration. More for a word. So we've got the gloss black rear diffuser with the Cerakote black tailpipes. Um, looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it does really look this. And this colour, it's not metallic, but it looks really cool in the sun. It's just, you know, hot. Um, and then when it's dull, it's, you know, changes colour again. A bit like the, you know, the, the orange performance one, which is the same colour as the Focus Heritage, isn't it? It's the, Teeth orange, deep orange, whatever, you want to, whatever they say in English and German. Um, but Ferb is away there, nice. And if we give it a few little revs, that. A little bit of, um, bit of gunfire going on there. So that's just static. When you're driving down the road, look, that customer's going to find that when he's, he's woke up for that. He can't believe it sounds, but when he starts getting on it, it'll be awesome. And then he's, he's got a nice drive back to uh, Exeter, right? And I'm sure he's going to let us know what uh, what his feelings are and uh, what he thinks, which is great. Get some feedback. But yeah, we've done a few of these now. But this first one that we've done in an, on an addition car, so uh, hopefully it'll be the you know one of many. Um, we have got another addition car coming in, not for this. We're coming in for some uh, for some mounting parts to be put on. Um, that might be a swear word for most for some of you, but um, that's what he wants us to fit on the hardware. We will do that. And um, but we're going to be putting on Revo Stage 2 software on it. So something Revo is going on the car and something Revo will be going on this car, no doubt. Um, like I've said before, it's a stock car and he thinks it's impressive already, which it is. But once he puts on Revo Stage 1 software, he won't want to drive it on stock again because, well, for one, he won't be able to. But um, he just transforms it. Um, so that's all to come. But, been a real um, privilege to do this one. Really exciting. We've really enjoyed it, and we to make yeah. attention to detail. So um, you know, you can't just chuck it on. You know, it has to be. You have to take your time. Well, we take our time about it, and we make sure it's uh, everything's um, it's, it's good as it can be. You know, um, but that's it. So for now, as I say. All right. So usual thing. Thanks ever so much for, for watching, guys and girls, uh, supporting the channel. That's fantastic. Um, comments down below. Whether it's thumbs up or thumbs down, you might like it, you might not. It might not be your cup of tea, that's fine. Um, make sure you hit that bell notification button. Um, so when you do that, you get a pop-up banner, it'll come up, click all, and that'll notify you um, whichever device that you, you're using of any new uploads that we're doing in it, and you'll automatically get that notification so you haven't got to search for it, which is really good. Um, subscribing is you know, uh, really important, so you know, the channel's growing, that's great. And we're just honest and we just do what we do. Um, here to, you know, to put across to you what's what and uh, hope you enjoy what um, what you see but you know there's lots of content coming you know whether it be Mark 8, Mark 7, Mark 3 Fox RS, doesn't matter you know, there's lots of content coming so um, yeah so we'll uh, we'll catch up soon. Ciao.